Let's go ahead and set the timing now. I use this little jumper here. Plug it into the lead I'm going to check first. Usually the left one. So I'm going to plug that right in like that. Plug this in like this. Essentially all I've done is added this in series with the circuit. I use a very simple test light to do this. All it is is a simple 12 volt instrument bulb light from a bike. All it needs is a positive and a negative lead. Put your negative lead right onto the motor. Take your positive lead and put it into the other side of this jumper. When we turn it on, we're going to get a very small light there. Very, very dim because the unit is operating at very low voltage. Here's an important thing to notice. Everything is hooked up exactly as it would be if the bike was running. Spark plugs are in the engine, plug caps are on the plugs, coils are on the bike and they're grounded. All wires are hooked up. Both sides of the ignition are hooked up. This is the only way to do this. Now we want to check this timing the same way we would any other point system. We're going to rotate the crank. We're rotating it slowly by hand. We're not using a timing light with the bike running, you'll notice. So we want the light to come on right at LF. Let's see where it comes on here. Oh, we're a little bit early. So let's back it off so the light goes off and turn the bike off. So the first thing I'm going to do here is adjust the plate. So we're going to set the plate so that the left side comes on and then if we need to, we'll make an adjustment on the right side pickup. Since we were a little early, we're going to move the plate this direction. Just a little bit will do a lot. Okay, let's see where our light comes on. Dead on the money. So we'll rotate it till the light goes off again and now we'll turn the bike off. Let's do the other side. So we'll do the same setup. Plug the wire from the unit into the jumper, the other side into the coil lead for the right side coil. You want to rotate it? Wow, we were dead on. If it wasn't though, and we had to make an adjustment, all you need to do is loosen these little set screws here and move the pickup ever so slightly. Don't use the plastic housing to move it because you can break the pickup this way. If you needed to move this in one direction or the other, use a very small screwdriver and simply push it in one direction or the other. Well, let's see how this thing runs. Let's see how this runs.